Today we will go over a quick tutorial on how to add a Kyocera printer with job accounting code to a Windows 10 PC. First step is to download a Kyocera print driver. In order to do so, go to the URL in your address bar, USA dot kiasera document solutions dot com if you get a prompt for cookies and privacy just hit agree go to the support tab on this page then go to the download center In the Choose an Option field, type the name of your Kyocera printer in the field. In this example, I am going to type the model that I am using, 5526. As you can see from just filling in a portion of the model name, you get an auto search list of your nearest model. For example, if my model was a task alpha 5052, if I type in 5052, I get the nearest match. So no matter what the model is, it's just typing in a portion of the numbers will give you the closest match. To find what your model is on the front facing cover below your operational panel will have the Kyocera logo and your model listed on the cover. Once I select my model on this list, I'm automatically given a list below of the latest drivers detected by my operating system. The latest driver we want to use is a KX print driver 8.1. To the right is a download icon. So we're going to select the download arrow, accept and continue on this screen to begin the download progress. Once my downloaded zip file is complete, I want to open the folder that contains this file. It is important that you do not click open file. I am using Microsoft Edge, so on the right side of my file, on this toolbar, I have an icon with three dots that I click on to say, to show in folder. If you are using Google Chrome or a different browser, this may be a different screen. Another best practice to bring up the zip file, file that we downloaded is to click the folder explorer icon on your toolbar and then proceed to your downloads directory. Right click on the zip file and choose extract all. You will be given a window that shows where your files will be extracted. Press extract to begin the extraction.
once that is complete, you have the extracted folder presented in front of you. In that folder, you will see a, a subfolder that says EN for English. You double click on that folder, and then they, in that directory, find the setup.exe application. We're going to double click on that file. It's going to bring up a product library notice. We hit accept. On the resource and energy saving information tab, we hit OK. And now you have your Kyocera product library. And we're going to choose Express Install to install our printer. This software will auto discover your printer on your network. If you have multiple devices, on your network, please select one at a time to install. In this example, I only have one device showing, so I highlight it in blue. Down below, I uncheck Status Monitor. Choose Install on the Data Collection tab and choose no, do not want to take part, hit OK. Installation of my Kyocera printer will begin. Once this progress is complete, uncheck def duplex as default, that is not needed, and I uncheck type on your Show keyboard print tab. the word printers then i hit finish immediately then click your start on your best match search should be printers and scanners system settings select that and now you are sh being shown all your printers your newly created printer on your device, on your on your computer. Click on your new Kyocera printer, select Manage, then on the following screen, select Printer Properties. Click on your Advanced tab, then click on your Printing Defaults. Select black and white to ensure your jobs are not printed out in full color by default. Press OK. Then go to the Device Settings tab, the Administrator button, Job Accounting tab, Check the job accounting box and supply your numerical number that you use to access your Kyocera device. Press OK. Press OK. Now we're just going to verify that our settings have held. So we go back into printer properties, go back to advanced tab, printing defaults, verify that black and white is selected, hit OK, go to device settings tab, you click administrator, go to the job accounting tab, we just verify that our numerical number is saved in this field. Press OK. 
and OK to close these windows, then you can print a test page to verify your installation.